This is the third try. I thought it was recording. It was actually a picture. Then I thought I hit record because it was on video and I didn't hit record. So I'm going to try this again. I'm kind of like, I already said that once, but I'll say it again. I just got back from Tacoma. I had a three day conference with my um, principal for my school and my behavior person for my school and 30 other people from our district were up there and it was a behavior um, education conference teaching us how to deal with the current things going on and there was some stuff on racism which I we don't have a lot of stuff like that at our school our kids are it's amazing I our kids love everybody um so we had a conference there's lots of eating lots of busy lots of go 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 lots of doing things together but I have my way in tomorrow I get my next summer boot tide shot tomorrow and I'm definitely going to go up a dose. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm a little anxious about it because I ate. I ate like I was on vacation, which, I mean, all in all, I guess that's good because I didn't let it change my life, but I needed to let it change my life because otherwise, I, you know, I, I got on the scale here and I'm like, I can't really tell because when I weigh in here, it's different than when I weigh in there and all the things. Um, Normally when I'm home with Terry, we eat like one meal a day and it's good. Um, up in Washington, it was breakfast, lunch, and dinner and Starbucks. So that was kind of hard. On the second night there, my body decided I needed to be up every 30 minutes going to the bathroom. So I did. And I must have been retaining water, but I got it all out and I did feel better. I just didn't get any sleep that night. Um going on a flight and only going one hour with one little hop was really weird. I'm used to going, that's the first leg of the flight. And then you go on another two or three, and then you go on another two or three and it takes like six to 18 hours to get to where you're going to get. But, um, my ankles usually swell up like when they, I was pregnant or whatever. And I didn't, I didn't feel that, um, achy joints and all the stuff. So who knows, maybe that's an improvement. Um, <sighs> I'm scared to weigh in tomorrow. Can't really take back what I've done. Can't change it. I had pasta with lasagna and I had chicken alfredo. Um, I tried to limit how much I was eating, but it tasted so good and I just kept eating. The semaglutide shots made me feel full sooner, but I have found, <laughs> as I always do, if I eat fast enough, I don't know I'm full until I'm full. Um... I still left food on my plate. I still left things behind. I didn't take them back to my room because I didn't want to eat them because I knew I'd be eating breakfast and lunch and dinner the next day and I didn't need any leftovers in the refrigerator. So I hate eating because it's a social thing. It's to me worse than drugs or social smokers or whatever like that. It's, it's a social thing. And I wish that life didn't revolve so much around eating and the time spent um, eating and making food. I love it. It's my bonding time with my family. It's my love language is to eat and to nurture people. I have to make a different way of eating or nurturing people, not eating. Anyways, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to let it go, take my way in, and see where I go from here. So I did have a big gain last week. I think I was like I hadn't gone to the bathroom for a couple of days. So I think that's why I had a big up last week. We'll see what it is, but I can't go back, so I have to go forward. We'll see what happens next week. I just wanted to make a little short ending to my video and let everybody know I'm not a doctor, not a nutritionist. I'm not licensed in anything. I'm not certified in anything. I have just done my research and I searched out the information that I needed to help my body. Please don't take anything I say on here seriously as something that you have to do or you need to do. Do your own research, consult your physician. Don't start any crazy fasting diet or anything without talking to your doctor or at least doing your research. I'm just a person, this is just my journey. I wanted to share it with people and I wanted to encourage people and I wanted to just put it out there that we're living a life to make it the best that it can be. Um, I hope you might be encouraged by this or inspired to go out there and live your best life. Um, one bucket list item after another. I can only do one thing at a time, but I'll do my best. So don't forget, talk to your doctor, talk to your nutritionist, 
do your own research, but here's to a healthier, happier you and me. Let's go out there and live.